So you've been hearing about this new mod called Beyond Skyrim Bruma. They say it's beautiful. They say it has great voice acting. And they said the music is amazing. Well, they're right. This is all true. But you want to know how to install it? In this video, I'm going to show you how. So hopefully by the end, in 5 or 10 minutes, you'll know how to do it for yourself. And you'll be playing this wonderful mod in no time. So stay tuned. Elite Gaming. Okay, so first I would like to say thanks to these guys for making this and putting in the time to do this. It is free, but you can decide to give them a donation, which I highly recommend because I would like to see more things like this in the future. But let's get into how to install. Alright, so my first link below is to the actual Bruma mod. And by now you already know what it's all about, you've seen the visuals, you've seen everything. But this we're going to keep open. And we're going to use this as a reference to get some of our other links. So the first thing we want to do is want to make sure we have the requirements. The first thing is Nexus Mod Manager. So just right click it, open a new tab, and go over to the Mod Manager. This is something that you want to start, you want to get the download. Now if you already have Mod Manager, just deal with me for a couple seconds. This is for the people that don't and, you know, let me just walk them through it and then we'll get past this. So you're going to download it, and then it's going to open, and it's going to want to scan your games. Before we do any of that, let's go get Skyrim Script Extender, because we need that to run this mod. It's necessary. It won't run without it, so in your search bar, type Skyrim Script Extender Steam Workshop. I like to use the Steam Workshop one because I feel like it sets a, like a separate game in your your library and it makes it very easy to use. So go ahead and download that, attach it to your Steam file, and by then, Nexus is ready. So hit scan for games, and any game that you don't have, just click the X on it to speed up the process. It will find games that you do have, all you do is click the check mark. When it gets all of your games, you can proceed. It only takes a second, and these are all the major games that this actual mod app will work with. There's other ways to mod games, but this is a very easy one, and it works with a lot of uh, the mainstream games. So as you see, I have Skyrim, and I have Skyrim Legendary, I have both. I do use different mods for different games. I have, like, different builds, as you would say. Alright, so when we're all done, we hit OK. And this brings you to the UI. It's going to say, hey, do you want us to make your life easier by making these little profiles? And just hit yes. Log in. Make yourself an account if you don't have one. It is free. And that way it gives you the token so you can actually download and use it. Alright, so we go back into the Bruma page. There's a couple other things we're going to need. So that's our script extender, which we have. There's another version there. I don't use that when I use the script extender. Alright, make sure you have Dawnguard, Hearthstone, Dragonborn. You need all that. Okay, then depending on which edition you're going to use, if you're going to use the special edition or not, you're going to run a different patch. They have two patches here. These patches are extra stuff that people put together in mods to make your game work better if they need it. Okay, and then these other two are not necessary, but they can help. Okay, so we'll go to that, and then uh, don't worry about download manual, go to files, and open it up in the manager. And do that for each one of these. So you go into the files, the any file, this just rewrites the any, so you don't have to do it yourself, that's more complicated for me to explain, so this just does it for you. So these are the tabs that we opened up, and so, so far you should be following me. There should be four of them, depending on what edition you have, and they're all going to be loaded into your Nexus Mod Manager. It's not hard at all, just load them in there. And the patch, of course. Some of these might take a while to download, but, you know, get the appropriate one for the edition that you have. And like I said, you need to have Dawnguard, Hearthstone, and Dragonborn. You need to have everything. Or it's not going to work. Alright. So moving on. Alright, so the Mod Manager. When you go to get downloads, it's going to appear at the bottom here. And you could do the Bruma this way, but I don't recommend it. It did not work for me. I want to show you a different way. So how it basically works, it puts it in these subfolders. You open them up and you double click on them. And that'll install the mod. Simple as that. 
do I would say the script extender any first which was the first one we clicked on do that one first all right so we're gonna download this manually it's gonna take a while it's about 2.33 gigs and 2.5 when you open it up all right so what you want to do is you want to go into your steam library go into skyrim script extender as if it's a game and we want to right click that we want to go into our local files so that this way we can open up our data folder very easily in your local files go to data now what you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to copy everything in your local files put them in one folder take the mod information put that in another folder in case you know you ever mess it up but really i mean I guess I live dangerously because I don't ever do that. I'm just too lazy for all that. So I just take everything and I just drop it into the data folder. And that's how I did it. So you just, I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. You just click and drag, drop it all in there. All right. So there you have it. So there's only a couple more steps you need to do. One of them is hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and go to the previous video where I show you how to actually get into Bruma when you have Skyrim. But that's it. You're ready to go. This should just work. This is all I did. It works perfect for me. As you see, I'm in the game, and it's a great time. So I hope this helped you guys. Overall, I feel like this is an amazing thing that they've done here, and I'm going to continue to cover it with more stuff, along with my Fallout mod videos that I cover, and PC gaming PC builds. So I hope you enjoyed. My name is Andrew. This is Elite Gaming HQ and I'll catch you guys on the next one.